In this animated lecture, you will learn about chemical bonding. So what is a chemical bond? It's the force of attraction that holds two or more atoms together to form a substance. For example, water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Do you know my dear students? How do these atoms stay together in a molecule? Think of it like a glue that sticks atoms together in a molecule. So the force of attraction that binds atoms together, known as chemical bond. It is just like cement, that's used to hold bricks together. It works by creating, strong bond between the bricks. Chemical bonds work in much the same way. They create a strong bond between atoms, so that they hold atoms together. So chemical bonds are just like lovely forces, that come closer, and bind to two persons in a bond, and always hold them together. Do you know my dear students? Why do atoms form chemical bonds? It is a universal rule that everything in this world tends to become more stable. Similarly, atoms form chemical bonds to get stability. So how do they achieve stability? Atoms achieve stability by attaining electronic configuration of noble gases. Do you know my dear students, what are noble gases? They are a group of elements on periodic table that include helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. They are called noble because they don't react easily with other elements. In simple words they do not form chemical bonds with other elements. Why they don't form chemical bonds? Because they have a stable electronic configuration. And since noble gases already have stable electronic configuration, other elements form chemical bonds in order to match that configuration of noble gases. So how do atoms achieve stability? Having two or eight electrons in the valence shell is sign of stability. Noble gases do have two or eight electrons in their valence shells. Valence means outermost shell of an atom. Like helium has two electrons in its valence shell because the first shell can accommodate only two electrons. While all other noble gases have eight electrons in their valence shell. Attaining two electrons in the valence shell is called diplet rule, while attaining eight electrons in the valence shell is called octet rule. So atoms achieve stability by filling up their outermost shell with electrons according to diplet or octet rule. Atoms achieve stability by losing, gaining or sharing electrons with other atoms. Let's talk about sodium chloride, which is also known as table salt. Sodium has one electron in its outermost shell, while chlorine has seven electrons in its outermost shell. This means that, sodium wants to get rid of that one electron, to have a complete octet, because after losing electron, second shell becomes valence shell. While chlorine wants to gain one electron, to complete its octet. So, sodium loses one electron to become a positively charged ion, and chlorine gains one electron, to become a negatively charged ion. Now when these two ions come together, they form a type of chemical bond, known as ionic bond. Both of these atoms now become stable. They stabilize themselves by losing and gaining electrons. Atoms also achieve stability by sharing electrons. How do atoms achieve stability by sharing electrons? Let's take water as an example. Water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Hydrogen has only one electron in its outer shell, while oxygen has six electrons in its valence shell. In order to achieve stability, the hydrogen atoms share their electrons with oxygen atom. This results in each hydrogen atom having two electrons in its outer shell. So hydrogen becomes stable according to diplet rule. On the other hand oxygen becomes stable by having eight electrons in valence shell according to octet rule. So by sharing electrons, these atoms have achieved stability and formed a type of chemical bond known as covalent bond. Let's summarize the whole concept. Why do atoms form a chemical bond? Atoms form chemical bonds to attain stability. How do atoms achieve stability? Atoms achieve stability by attaining electronic configuration of noble gases. Why are noble gases stable? The noble gases do have two or eight electrons in their valence shells. Attaining two electrons in the valence shell is called the diplet rule. While attaining eight electrons in the valence shell is called the octet rule. How can an atom accommodate two or eight electrons in its valence shell? 
Atoms can accommodate two or eight electrons in their valence shell in three ways. By losing valence shell electrons to other atoms. By gaining electrons from other atoms. By sharing valence electrons with other atoms. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.